Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about what's going on with the chipmunks, because I'm so sorry this is late, but the only reason why this is so late because I had to get my facts straight in now as well. Um, I did a lot of digging going into this as well. A lot of research, actually, got into this as well. So I can say I'm very happy that the chipmunks are not going to be owned by Paramount. Um, you're thinking, but the TV show is. We'll talk about that later on the show, but I'm very happy. The bread is not going to Paramount anymore, um, I think. Yeah, I think. I'm pretty sure. If I wasn't, I'll have to delete this whole thing from YouTube. But yeah, but I'm pretty sure this is, um, the bread is not owned by Paramount. Just the TV show, which we'll talk about later on in this video as well. So yeah, so there's been news circling around about the uh, album that she works lately. Um, I think someone shared this on Discord. That's where I found this a news article. So I shared this on Discord. And apparently uh, Nickelodeon is not going to air the TV show, uh, the episodes of um, Alvin the Chipmunks, um, not on their uh, Nickelodeon channel anymore. And people are like, well, well what's going on? Why, why are they doing this? I have a theory later on why are they doing that. So, yes. But, yeah, but they haven't confirmed season six, which begs the question later on. Um, I've, got, I've got some theories as well to tie into this as well. And also on my Wikipedia page on Twitter, if you go on Twitter, because on um, because <coughs> they are on Twitter, which I was not aware of. So if you go on Twitter, um, they said that Viacom CBS is not treating them um kindly, or they they're treating them very poorly, which is sad. Because you think for a brand like this, people would be, oh, I love the Chipmunks, I grew up with the Chipmunks, yada yada yada, but Viacom is treating them very badly. So they're like, oh, we're out of it. <laughs> They're probably like, hey, you can have the you can have the uh, ownerships of the show. We don't want nothing to do with this. <laughs> but yeah, but anyway, um, more on that later. But yeah, anyway, yeah, very interesting that they've uh, decided that they've um, you know, I I mean this was published like back in twenty twenty one, but still counts. Also, there's been some news as well. This was like a while ago. These are like really really old articles, but they still count to today, I guess. So yeah, so Ross Bethesda actually fired a animator, a storyboard artist that spit in for years, and um, I'm not sure why he, they, um, I'm not sure um why they fired him. I'm not sure why. I think they just fired him for no reason, which is awful and terrible. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Very interesting stuff. But that was back in like when the show, before the show had aired. And also, there's been some old articles as well that I found that the um. Fox wanted, uh, you know, the movies. They got owned of the uh, movies, and the uh, back to series wanted ownerships of the movies as well, uh, from a lawsuit as well. But they didn't win exactly. So yeah, so there's a lot of news circulating about that as well. <coughs> so yeah, so um, you know, so Alan Chibunk's, uh the show is owned by Viacom CBS now. The show, not the brand, the show, which is going to confuse a lot of people. Uh, so they own the 2015 show now. Um, Viacom CBS is sort of like the capital of Paramount, uh, Paramount Plus, uh, Nickelodeon, Nick Jr., Nick Jr., sorry. So they own all of that stuff as well. But they're like the capital of it as well. You know, sort of like Disney. You know, Disney owns Marvel, Star Wars, all that stuff. But Disney is the main capital of that head as well, if you get what I mean by that. But yes, but they are going to Paramount Plus, which makes sense, because I did say a while ago that I don't want the Chipmunks to be burdened on Nickelodeon, which makes sense. Um, so yeah, so they're not going to uh, premiere yet. They're not going to air the episodes on Nickelodeon anymore. They're going to move them straight to Paramount Plus, which is a good idea, because I said I don't want the Chipmunks, like I said before, to be burdened, um, you know, staying on Nickelodeon. So that's good as well. <sighs> Sorry, I get, I get hair on my mouth. <laughs> anyway. So, yes, yeah. so someone asked me, so they're going to Paramount Plus and not air on Nickelodeon. So that's what I'm getting at. So, yeah, so what someone asked me, where can you watch the episodes? Because you can't watch over Nickelodeon anymore. Um, I guess this counts as reruns as well, because I've got a lot of reruns on Nickelodeon. So, yeah, so I said Paramount Plus. Um, and also, interesting fact, um, they started advertisement of Paramount Plus in Australia. So if you're Australia, now you get Paramount Plus as well, which is fantastic as well. Also, you could, I get the, you could, uh, you could watch them on Netflix if you have Netflix. Only two seasons are on there, so no season three, four, or five yet, but hopefully we'll get that in the future. Um, I heard you could watch them on Apple TV, and I've got Apple TV, and for some reason you can't watch them on Apple TV. And I think this is the reason why they put on Paramount Plus. Like, they want you, they're encouraging you to get to Paramount Plus. 
um, as well. They want you to get it just just to watch this. I don't know if I will, but I'm sure you guys say, oh, yeah, Paramount Plus, here I come. <laughs> But yeah, but also, if you have to, if you get, if you, um, you have to, it's a weird thing. I don't know why. Streaming service shouldn't do this. Um, if you, you have to access them by binge, which is super weird. I've never heard that in my entire life that you have to access something from another streaming service. It's like one of those stupid ads that pop up. You got to go to this ad to the other ad. You know what I mean? So it's really weird. And also, you get them with Foxtel as well. If you have Foxtel, go the app as well. But, you know, they're blocked as well. So they're, they're encouraging you to get Paramount Plus because it's got all six seasons on there. So that's probably what, uh, not six seasons, five seasons. Oh, my God, five seasons on there. So that's, that's probably why they're encouraging you to get Paramount Plus as well. So, yes, yeah, so it's weird to me that Average Chipmunks is owned by Viacom CBS, which is the head of Paramount as well, and also Nickelodeon and Nick Jr., like I said before. And also it's weird to me that the live action movies, we talked about this a while ago in my other video, um, that they owned by 20th Century Fox and owned by Disney as well, the live action movies as well. And it's weird to me that Universal, um, you know, owned the uh, Meet the Wolfman and the Frankenstein um, that they did over there. But um, they actually, I heard like they got the, the ownerships back, which is interesting. So they used to own it, but now they don't. So it's weird that they keep jumping from place to place. I don't know why. They should just settle and say, look, we want we want the Chipmunks to go out to a really great company. And I think the reason why they do the lawsuits and, you know, buy the Chipmunks is because they really want them. I think that's generally the reason why they want them so badly. Because they both, they're like, no, we just keep jumping from place to place until we find out. But, yeah, but they have to stop doing it because it's making us fans very confused, making me confused talking about this. They have to, they have to say, Right, we're gonna stay here and um um <coughs> we're gonna stay here and um you know sell the company to them. So that would make more sense. But they just keep jumping from place to place. I don't know why. And like I said, the reason why I think you know their lawsuit comes in and the ownership is because I really want them. They love the chipmunks, you know. So that would make sense. Also. You're thinking, would they still sell the Chipmunks even though Paramount still, even though Paramount owns the TV show? Yes, of course, of course they will. They're like I said, they're a big uh, comedy, uh, hot comedy in streaming services as well, and also they're a hot ticket in today's society. You know, people love these guys. Are uh, very hot, even though the movies and sort of the stuff that they, you know, did. Um, with the movies at Universal and the TV show, still not the greatest, but it's still popular in today's brand and society as well. So that would that that would make sense from a business standpoint as well. So yeah, so of course they'll still sell the tip box. Uh, it might not be Pam, it might be, it might but yeah, sorry, it might not be CBS, but it might be someone else who gets them as well. So, yes, yeah. so, um, speaking of the, um, Alvin and the Chipmunks 2015 show, they're owned by Paramount Plus, um, now, but also, like, the real question is, will we get season six or seven? I'm gonna say no, because if this is happening, uh, behind the scenes of drama, we haven't got any new episodes yet, which is crazy. Um, so, yeah, so, I'm gonna say no, because they did say they, their, their plan was to finish it and then, um, sell the Chipmunks. It's like, what, 2023? 2024, 2024, uh, 2025. There's only two more years before, tw tw before 2024. I can't speak. 2024 and 2025, which is insane. So they need, I think their priority should be sell the chipmunks. That should, that should be their priority. Take a little break, you know, let them recover, you know, um, as well as, uh, as, um, as the brand itself and then sell them. That's what I would do if I was in that situation as well. So, yes, yeah, so what do you think of uh, this happening? I'm sure you've got lots of um, opinions, so put them in the comment section below. Um, and also, what do you think of Z VCOM CBS already the rise to their show now? And also, what do you think of Paramount Plus? Are you going to get it just because you want to watch this? I don't know if I will, cause I, cause I've got, cause I'm, um, cause I've got heaps of streaming services. I've got Netflix, I've got Disney Plus, I've got Stan, I've got a Prime Video, which is Amazon, I've got Seven Plus. I've got all these streaming services, so I don't really think it's really necessary to get Paramount Plus if you've got so many streaming services. Like I said, streaming's big these days. So, yeah. So, let me know what you guys like. Click like, subscribe to the next video, guys.